Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Beginner's Yoga for uh, March the 30th, Thursday. Um, you probably know by now that I am pre-recording this class on Tuesday, which is the 28th. And I, I like to share with you why I'm doing that. Uh, my brother, who I haven't seen in a couple of years, um, has made a detour to his uh, trip from Florida up to Pennsylvania to see his uh, sister-in-law, um, who's not, not well. Um, and I thought it's a great opportunity for me to see my brother. And as I said earlier, I haven't seen him in almost two years. And um, so I just really needed to go to see him. And uh, this was the only block of time uh, that, that we could really work it out to see him. I could see him Wednesday evening literally taking him out to dinner. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I, there's no way that I can get back to, uh, get back to Delaware to teach. Uh, so I am pre-recording this class. I hope that uh, you will uh, watch it, that you will uh, enjoy it a little bit. Um, I, I couldn't not give you something. I didn't want to repeat a class that we had done, you know, a couple of weeks ago, but I wanted to give you something you guys are really that important to me and uh, i think it's important that uh, that we stay in touch even though it's uh at a weird angle and from afar but uh that's uh, that was my thought so here we go um it is allergy season isn't it uh maybe not on a cape where uh ferris is they may not be out yet with all the this pollen but it certainly is starting to appear down here in delaware so we're gonna uh, talk about two breaths today that might give us a little bit of relief uh, from the allergen that the pollen is floating around. Uh, for some it works, for some it doesn't. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look and uh, see what we think and uh, maybe it'll be helpful. From there. Um, also, um, there is a good chance, and I'm, I'm not happy about this, but there's a good chance that there may be new people joining class today and seeing me on video, and I, it's always goofy. Um, I, I don't like to have the first couple classes uh, when I'm not there that I can't see you and I can't chat and we can't talk. So if uh, if the two ladies um, that have signed up for the class are actually um, viewing this today, um, um, I promise it'll get better um, when I get to actually get a chance to see you and get a chance to talk to you and get just to share our stories together. Um, so if you're here, um, there are a couple things to know. First of all, do not do anything that is uncomfortable for you. Do not uh, put yourself in any kind of pain. Uh, if you um, feel uncomfortable, just stop, pay attention. You don't have to do this. And then we'll get a chance to talk even more about safety and those things uh, when I get a chance to actually Zoom with you or see you personally here studio so just a just a warning uh in terms of um, please be patient and gentle to yourself and careful um, that's in case you're you're here uh mike ferris you guys go ahead and just you know throw yourself on the wall i know that's what you guys do uh, anyway so i'm fine with that and just of course I'm kidding so let's talk about this uh this breath i want to talk about today um the first one that we're going to talk about is alternate nostril breathing, and we have um, we have actually done this before in class, and it's quite it's quite easy once we get the hang of it, and it is designed to help uh, clean out the sinus passages. That's what it does. We take our index finger, we take the middle finger, and we put them on our what we call our third eye, or that space between the eyebrows. All right, and that allows a thumb okay to push against one nostril if we would like it to. It also allows the ring finger and the pinky to push against the other nostril. Now, not both at the same time, okay? We're gonna alternate nostril breathe here. So index, middle finger, right here. There we go, that's great. So let's take the thumb and close off that nostril. All right, and we want to inhale. Nice, big breath, very comfortable, right? And now what I'd like you to do is exhale through the same nostril. 
open up that nostril with the thumbs holding down, switch over to the ring finger and the pinky push and inhale. Exhale. Thumb goes against the nostril, inhale. Exhale. Switch to the pinky finger and the ring finger. Exhale. Switch. If you're getting a bit lightheaded or feeling a little dizzy, this is the perfect time to stop. If not, 30 seconds is a good amount that seems to be really a good stimulus uh, for this alternate nostril breathing. And as you could tell, those were nice, really big, deep breaths, gentle easy going. It may have you reaching for the tissues, okay? So that you may have a little bit of drainage, a little bit of clearing. Uh, that's a good thing, uh, particularly th in this time of uh, allergies and pollen that is coming around. Okay, well, let's get on our mats, all right? Well, let's get down, let's get on here a little bit. We're gonna come to a comfortable seated pose. Uh, and again, um, you know how we do this. Uh, if you can sit comfortably cross-legged, okay, in what we call the seat of sweetness or the yoga pose, that's great. Um, but if you're going to do that, please make sure that the knees, okay, and the hips are uh, close to the same level. Um, because if the knees are higher, than the hips, what we would be doing is cutting off the flow of the, the blood or the energy um, to the extremities, and we don't want to do that. So you actually may need to sit on a block in order to achieve that, or a blanket. So you might have to do that up on that height to get that kind of level that you're looking for. As you can see by me, because of the hip injuries that I have, I'm not even there yet. So I'm going to come back down and go to the full extended leg pose. That's what I'm going to do. That's the part that is going to be best for me today. And that's the decision that you'll make. Good. So we want to anchor so that we can begin our centering. That may look like uh, hands on the knees, hands underneath the thighs, maybe even hands are out here to the side. There we go. Whatever is going to allow you to be at ease, to rest, to relax. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Get yourself comfortable so that the eyes can drift closed a little bit. Well, maybe not all the way. You can go closed just a bit. And we can begin to go inward. We can begin to focus, to look for the breath. Looking for the breath because, you no, know, it's, it's always in the background, isn't it? It's never the forefront of what we're doing. And it's there. So let, let's find the breath. Maybe we attach a color to it. I like to do that. I'm going to use this blue of the shirt that I have on today and just kind of, okay, that's where I want to be. Nice. Kind of sneaky, this breath, isn't it? It's kind of, kind of lays there in the background, kind of happens all by itself. Now that you found it, we need to make an observation. That's different than judgment. Okay. 
We want to observe that breath and just what does it look like? Is it, is it shallow or is it deep? Or is it elongated? Or is the exhale longer or shorter than the inhale? Everybody's breath is different. Maybe it's maybe it's jagged and cold today. Remembering that there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just an observation. And now that we've made that observation, what I'd like to do is I'd like to move the breath along to a point of where we can make it soft and gentle, warm and comfortable. That's a little tricky, right? Yeah. And now I'd like you to add equal inhales and equal exhales too. Soft and gentle, warm and comfortable. Equal inhales, equal exhales. I usually do a three count. So it's in one, two, three on the inhale. The three, two, one on the exhale. Go. And you want to think about the rhythm too. Okay, you want the you, you, you want it to, to just flow. You breathe in, you breathe out. You breathe in, you breathe out. No holding the breath, no stopping and waiting. Just soft and gentle, warm. Always remembering it's okay to change your anchor so that you're comfortable and at ease. I'd like to extend this, this breath. I'd like to make it bigger or fuller. So could you make that three count a five count for me, please? So it becomes a one, two, three, four, five. And then a five, four, three, two, one on the exhale. We'll keep all of the other characteristics of the breath the same. We'll, we'll keep it soft and gentle and keep it warm and comfortable. There you go. But it's just a bigger breath, right? It's a fuller, maybe a more robust breath. Might get a little coughing going on with that, or maybe just you know a little bit of clearing, and that's good because that means that we're moving that maybe older, staler ale, air, hot ale that's in the uh, that's in our lungs. We're moving that along and replacing it with some fresh, good stuff. Might feel a little more awake, right? A little more alert, a little more lively, man. I'd like to do one more modification. I'd like to keep that five count on the inhale. I want you to do the five count on the exhale. When you get down to that one, I'd like you to add another couple ones if you would please. So that five, four, three, two, one becomes a one, one, and one. And when you do that, we just tuck your belly button, your, bring your navel in towards your spine, please. That gets that last little bit of oxygen out of it. You're actually moving the diaphragm up and squeezing the lungs just a little bit. Great. And then just let go. Let the inhale begin all over again. All right, we're gonna have to practice this a little bit, right? Because we want it to be soft and gentle. We still want it to be warm and comfortable. Yeah, there you go. But we want that be that exhale to be longer so we can get a little bit more of that air. 
and we wanted to continue to have that rhythm. I breathe in, I breathe out. It's just a little longer exhale. So we'll practice a little bit longer. Nice. Good job, everyone. We'll do a few more, and when, when you're doing those extra ones on the exhale, do you, did you notice anything? Did, did you notice that maybe your blood pressure dropped a little bit, maybe just a degree? Maybe not. Maybe your heart rate just slowed one bit. Or maybe just for a second, on those extra little ones, you felt better. You were more at ease. Because that's where the body, that's where the breath brings the relaxation to the body on that exit. Great job. So we'll gently open our eyes. We're going to bring that breath count back to a one, two, three, three, two, one. And there we go. Good. Excellent. Open your eyes. Shake your hands out a little bit. We got them all cranked up there a little bit, right? Excellent. Wonderful. Good. Very nice. All right. Any adjustments you need to make? Perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and start with some neck work, okay? So let's go ahead and look up on the inhale. Notice that I'm sitting up straight. I've got my arms behind me in order to get that, to get that, uh, that, Upright posture that I'm looking for. So I'm going to look up on the inhale. And on the exhale, I'm going to let my chin drop down towards me. Inhaling up. Exhaling, the chin is dropping down towards me. Great job. Up. Exhaling down. Exhaling down. And up. And down. Okay, we're going to look back to center on the inhale. And then on the exhale, look out over your left shoulder. Back to center on the inhale. Exhale out over the right shoulder. I'm noticing a difference there when I go, I'm getting a little deeper on one side, not so deep on the other. That's okay. Because remember, we're, we're observing and not judging. There we go. Excellent. And we're just going nice and slow, and we're playing in this field that we call resistance, right? We're playing where we feel the pose, but it's not painful. There we go. Oh, good job, everybody. Let's shake this one out, okay? Just a, there we go. All right. Left hand on the left shoulder, right hand on the right shoulder. Why are they there? The shoulder, the hands are on the shoulders to hold the shoulders down, okay? Right, because what we're going to do now is we're going to drop that left ear down towards the left shoulder. And we're going to inhale back to center line. And then we're going to exhale to the right shoulder. We're just going to do it at our rate. Nice and easy. Yeah. No pain. Back to center, shake your hands out. 
come right back up onto those shoulders because we're just going to do this gentle neck pull, right? Just nice and easy. Oh. And back in the opposite direction. Wow. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so too. And back to center, shake it out. Let's go ahead and spread our heels out. Thanks. Spread our heels out towards the edges of the mat. I want to throw in a we're doing a lot of support work there. I want to throw in a counterbalance or a counter, counter pose in terms of a forward fold. Okay. So you can let your hands slide down your shins towards your hands to get your forward fold, or you can walk your hands down the middle of your mat, just like this. Whatever is comfortable and works best for you. The one thing that we want to remember is that we want to remember that we want to look out to where the wall meets the floor. That's going to give us a flat back forward fold. And where they, I think, where you're going to feel the stretch, okay, or the resistance is, is in the back of the hamstrings where they're asserted to the bone. Or you might find it in the lower back right here. Or you might find it in both places. Just exhale and out it goes. And then Walk your hands back, whether it's on your shin or on the mat, on the knee. Exhale. Uh, and back. Boy. We'll do it again. And back. Wonderful. Shake it out. Oh, good. So we have the left leg extended on the mat. And if you're still in the seated post, we're going to have to change that. Okay. And then let's bring that right foot up and let's cross it over. Okay? There. That gives me the opportunity to grab with my left hand, my right knee. That allows me to sit up really tall and straight, like you just saw right there. Putting my right hand behind my right hip. And we're going to twist to the right, but I'm first we want to look straight ahead. And when we twist, we want to twist with the shoulders. That means it looks like this. Right? There's the twist. Let the forehead come around after the shoulders come around. There we go. Now we're going to find that point of resistance and we're just going to stop. And then we're going to go ahead and inhale. And then we're going to twist a little bit more, maybe. Wow. Now when I come back to center line, I want to come back leading with my forehead. And then I'm going to come across the body for a hand twist. Just like that. Oh, excellent. Take that right foot and put it up. Left foot up, cross it over. There we go, everybody. Great job. Right hand can grab the left knee, right? I can pull it in tight. Pull it in tight, and that allows me to sit up straight, allows me to put my left hand behind my hip. Look at Perfect. Oh, wonderful. And when we twist to the left, what are we twisting with? We're twisting with the shoulders. Let them come first. Then the forehead will come. And the head. And we're just going to go to the point of resistance and then we're going to stop. And we're going to go ahead and inhale. We're going to sit up straight. We're going to twist a little bit more. And when we're coming back for this counter twist, what are we doing? We're actually leading with our forehead. Back to center line and then across the body for the counter twist. Whew. Wonderful. I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and fully extend. Good. I love it. I love it. Wonderful. 
Okay. Let's bring our hands behind our hips. There you go. I like it. Find some kind of comfortable pose here. Okay. Now I want to talk about talk about showing your heart to the world. All right. So lift your heart up to the world. That's it. Raise it up. And then maybe you can actually look up to where the ceiling and the wall come together. When you get there, pinch your shoulder blades together. And then look down the wall to where the floor is. And when that happens, you can take the weight off your hands. Shake your shoulders out. Good job, everybody. Back with the hands. Again, you can be on your fingertips if you want to be, or you can be on your palms. It's up to you. I'm going to be on fingertips. And what are we going to do? We're going to share our heart with the world. Lift it up. Show the world your heart. Then go ahead and look up the wall until you see the snowy and stuff. Up and pinch your shoulder blades together. Wow. Go ahead and look down the wall until you see the floor. When you see the floor, you can take the weight off your hands. Loosen your shoulder. Cool. One more time. Share your heart with the world. Lift it up. Get it up there. That's it. Good. Look up the wall till you see the ceiling and stop. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Awesome. Go ahead and look down the wall till you see the floor. Shake it out, everybody. That was really, really good. Nice job. Wonderful. Okay, let's meet in table. All right? Here we go. Table. Hips are on top of the knees. Shoulders on top of the elbows, on top of the wrists. You spread your fingers apart. And what happens? All of a sudden you go, wow, the arthritis is acting up in my, in my wrist. So walk your hands forward. Just a couple of inches. And now we're going to look up at the wall in front of us. And you notice that little arch that just occurred right there. And now arch our back leg the whole way down. Oh. Up the cow. Arch your back leg the whole way down. Inhale the cow. Arch your back the whole way down. Now, all we can. Great. One more time. Here we are in cow. Go ahead and extend that left leg back. And now on the exhale, bring that left knee in towards the heart. Look down. Back out. Look up. Exhale. In. Look good. Look up. Back out. Oh, hold it. Yes, you can lift your right hand up off the mat. Fine, but remember to breathe. Look up at the wall in front. Back down to the table. Drop your elbows onto the mat. That frees up the palms of your hands so you can hold your forehead. Mm. Just taking the pressure off, just being at ease. Letting the muscle stretch, letting the joints stretch a little bit. We're going to come back to table. Great. Look up at the wall. There's your cow. Put your right foot back. Exhale, the right knee comes in towards the heart. Look down at the right. Knee. Back out. Exhale. Out. Exhale. You guys are doing great. Back up. We're in. Oh, we're looking up. The right foot is out there. And yes, if you feel comfortable and safe, go ahead and lift the left. Yeah. 
I go and down weight. Drop your elbows onto the mat and freeze up the palms of your hands so that you can just rest your forehead there. Oof. Cool. Huh? Just being with you. Staking it at restful. Let's go ahead and walk our hands out the mat into extended child's pose. That will allow you to drop your ears between your arms. Maybe rest your forehead or the top of your, not the top of your, but just your forehead on the mat. Go ahead and bring your hands back by your ankles. <clears throat> On the inhale, we're going to lift the hands up off the mat near the hips and down. Up and down. Inhale up and down. So here's my question to you. If you lift them up this time, can the fingertips touch back there? Can you can you find them? Something, yeah, there we go. Good. Excellent. Just go ahead and lift them up. Wow. Sweet. And down. Great. This is true. Child's pose, this is where the least amount of muscles in your body actually move in one moment. Let's go ahead and run those hands out into extended child's pose again. Yeah. Can we come up on our fingertips? So we're pretending that we're the little toy soldiers in the Nutcracker. And then we're going to lift our forehead up off the mat. And we're going to walk our hands out off the mat to the left side. There we go. Good. And then we're going to walk back to center line. And then we're going to walk our hands off to the right side of the mat. Oh. And back to center line. Stretch, 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 extended child's pose, rest your forehead on the mat. Great job, everybody. Good. Hips are still dropping towards the ankles. That's giving this incredible stretch in the thighs. You're doing great work. Nice. Bring the hands back to frame the face. Thumbs are pointing inside towards each other. A big inhale up Ooh, to table. Go ahead and reset your table, everyone. There you go. Cool. Nicely done. Go ahead on the inhale and extend that left leg back. And then slide it out to the side on the left. So what I'm looking at is the sole of my foot running parallel with the side of my back. And you might want to adjust your fingertips a little bit here. I'm going to come up to my fingertips. That takes a little pressure off because what I'm going to do next is inhale my left hand up. Look at that. Inhaling up towards the ceiling. Holding that pose and then exhaling back. Inhaling up, exhaling back down. Inhaling up, hold it, exhale back down. Take that left leg that is extended out. Just let it slide back into line, center line. We're going to go ahead and extend that right leg back. And then let it work its way out to the side. So the right sole is running parallel to the right side of my back. I'm going to reset my table, make sure my hands are good. Great. Inhale that right arm up. Oh. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. 
exhale down. That's wonderful, everybody. Take that right leg, swing it back out to the side, and let it come back in center line. Body, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Plant your elbows, please. There we go. Oh, hold your forehead. Go ahead and let those hips drop back onto your ankles. That's great. You're doing wonderful. Excellent. Oh, good. Wonder. All right. Let's come back to two. Upon our fingertips. Okay, a little core work here. Okay, this is going to be a commitment on your part. I want you to do, please. So I want you to push off with your fingertips on the inhale and come to what we call hero pose. Fingertips are touching, palm is against the heart. We're going to go big on the left. That. Nice job, everybody. That's going to allow us to drop the right elbow on top of the left knee. Just like that. Let the palms touch, let them push down against each other so that you can lift that left elbow up in the air. Uh, again, pushing the palms together so that you can come back to hero pose, left foot forward. Ooh. Feel that little balance in there? I'm mean, working kind of hard. We've only got a couple of contacts. Go ahead, put that left foot back, go big on the right side. Left elbow on top of the right knee. Push down. Wonderful. Palms touching, pushing down. If I'm wobbly, push more weight onto the palms. Right elbow up in the air. Sweet. All right. Push the palms together so I can come back to right foot forward here. Go ahead and drop that back. Come to table, please. Whew. Wonderful. Now walk our hands five and seven eighths inches out in front. Roll the toes under, and we are going to kick up to down dog so that we can bury our ears in between our arms. Get some weight, maybe your fingertips, maybe the heels of your, of your hands are going to hold this pose. Then you're going to bend your right knee and drop your left heel down to the mat. And bend your left knee and drop your right heel down. Look at that. Excellent, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. Bicycle, right? That's what we're doing. We're bicycling and down dog. Good. You're probably feeling a little fuzzy right now, a little warm. It's fine to come down out of this pose, drop to your knees, rest, take it easy. Whatever works for you. Up to your fingertips. Okay, let's walk our hands in towards, let's walk our feet in towards our hands. Sorry about that. And then we're going to readjust into forward fold. So that means we just want our legs to be straight. That is the most important. It doesn't mean anything where your hands are. They can be on your ankles, they can be on the mat, but they can be halfway up your shin. That's fine. That's your forward fold today. Wonderful. And then what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and bring your hands up so we can end up with a flat back. So in my case, right, my hands are literally on my knees, right? I've got a flat back, as you can see. And then I'm going to exhale down the forward fold. Wonderful job, everybody. Inhale up to what I call tall table or half fold. You get to choose whatever one of those things you want to call it. And back down the forward fold. Tall table on the inhale. Exhale down forward. Whew. Inhale up. So I'll table and down. What a great stretch, huh? This feels really good. One more time up. This time when we come down, go ahead and bend your knees so that you are actually in crouch, okay? And then with a 
Feet movement forward and up. We're going to sweep up to sun sword. And we're going to exhale through the chimney we just created. And then we're going to inhale. And then on the exhale, we're going to come back down to crouch. Oh, back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale back down to the crouch. Oh, one more time. Oh. Excellent. Exhale. Inhale down to T, please. This is cracking me up. I'm looking at the screen. You can't see my head. So let me adjust the camera here for you. Just a little bit. All right. We are literally in T right now. Excellent. Wonderful time, everybody, to roll your wrist. Roll in the opposite direction. Great. Up, sun salute, back down to T, down to A. And the hands connect behind like this. And then on the inhale, can you lift them up just a little bit? And down. And up. And down. And up. And down. Shake them out, everyone. Good. Let's come to the uh, let's come to the front of our mat, right? Let's see what happens when I do this. We're going to come to the front of the mat. We're going to step back into stride pose. There we go. Inhaling the hands up so the fingertips touch over top of the head. Let's get the beginning of Warrior One right here. We're almost there, not, not quite yet. Getting close. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extend our hands up. Reaching, and then let's go ahead and drop that right knee out over the right ankle. So now I'm doing this evaluation going, you know, I think I'd like to get a little deeper into this pose. So then I can drop that left foot back a little bit. There you go. Wonderful. And when I inhale and I breathe, I'm going to just rise up, right? Rise up. And, that, and I'm just going to, when I exhale, I'm just going to let the air out, but I'm not going to lose the height of the right? I'm going to reach out. And exhale and relax, let the air out. Don't relax the pose, just let the air out. Inhale up. And then we come gracefully, shake it out, everybody. All right, go on to the other side, right? Step back with the other. There we go. Inhale, up they come. Fingertips, they're touching. Reaching up towards the ceiling. What are we going to do? I'm going to let that left knee drop out over the left ankle. Yeah, I think I'll go back just a little bit on this, but not as far as I did on the other side. I'm fine with that. Inhale, up, reach, stretch. Exhale, just let the ear out. Up, reach, stretch. Just let the air out. One more time. Up, reach, stretch. Let the air out. We come out gracefully. Oh. Great job, everybody. Shake it out, please. Ooh. Then what I think, I think it's time for Shavasana, everybody. We're going to get comfortable wherever you want to be, however you want it to be. You can be on your mat. You can sit in a chair. You can lay on your belly. Great job. All right.
I think without a doubt, almost everybody's favorite awesome. One, your body's putting everything that we just did, all the poses, all the sequences, all the moves, all of those into muscle memory. So next week, when we begin to do this all over again, Body will go, oh, that's familiar. I remember that. Sure. I can do that easier. And that's just happening. The body knows to do that. The muscles know what to do. They're smart. The other thing that's happening is that you're getting a chance to look and be in amazement. This incredible movement. It has such power, such power, such power. Sometimes you just have to pay attention. Just take a moment and realize the rest. There's incredible breath bars. So there's exactly what energy just brings to the heart. Different shorts, totally different than the energy it needs to bring to our digestive tract. Which is different than the energy it needs to bring to our ankles and our calves. Knows what energy it needs to bring to a paper cut that you have on your finger. Or those couple stitches that you have on your oh, What a gift. I do love that sneaky part of my breath that travels through the diaphragm. It, it gently touches my lungs and my head. So it works just with human shoulders and my head is just the tension. I love to watch the mind breath through the fingers, to the fingertips. And then it's just kind of at ease, just literally jump. I don't know. And I love the fact that I love the fact that my eyes and my ears have relaxed and the wrinkles on my forehead have just disappeared. And I know that's because we're at ease, my friends, and because we're at peace.
So I think it's a good time for us to begin to wiggle our fingers and toes and welcome ourselves back to the mat. Mm. To take the time we need because I think we've been gone a distance. And then we're gonna to come to a just gentle, easy pose for just one second. And I wanna thank you for uh, allowing me to walk a bit with you this week, even though it's on tape. I wanna thank you for attending our class. Um, I look forward to um, seeing you next week, live, in person or on Zoom. Um, Thank you for the opportunity to uh, see my brother and to do something that I that I need to do. My friends, Namaste.